You know, I was thinking of the immortal words of Socrates when he said, I drank what? It's one of the favorite lines from one of my favorite movies, Real Genius with Val Kilmer. But it's also a funny way to get into a very serious topic, poison hemlock. Mother Nature also has a funny way of warning us who live here about plants and animals that are dangerous. Bright colors, certain patterns, that kind of stuff. Think of the Venus flytrap or poison tree flog, frogs. However, hemlock, it's not nearly as flashy, but it is potentially just as deadly. Sophia Bliss, you're here right now to talk about what we need to know about this weed that is becoming more pervasive around the state. It really has, and particularly this year. So you may have seen it, this tall plant with dainty white flowers, maybe as you're driving around. And as, as tempting as it may be to stop and pick some and put it in a vase, it can be deadly to people and animals. Anecdotally, at least, it certainly seems like this is a year where poison hemlock is spreading really fast. Since they grow really tall, up to nine feet tall, and they tend to be, they love ditches, uh, damp areas, uh, like marshy areas, uh, anywhere near a river or creek, uh, you'll see a lot of uh, poison hemlock. Uh, they have a white umbrella-shaped flower, um, fern-like, really dark green leaves. We want to make sure that people understand that the entire plant is actually toxic to humans and livestock. Again, the entire plant is toxic, not just the leaves, not just the stem, all of it. The approach to dealing with these plants on your property is a bit of a juxtaposition because ideally you wouldn't touch it, but according to Idaho law, if it's on your property, it's your responsibility to remove it to hopefully prevent it from spreading further. One thing that can be really helpful is wearing a heavy vinyl glove that's uh, chemical safe and that can help prevent any skin irritation that people might have while handling the plants uh, and removing them from their properties. Brockway says it's a good idea to wash your hands because the plant residue on your hands can make you sick. He also adds some general advice for removal is to spray it when it's small and to cut it when it's tall. You can report infestations on public land to Ada County Weed, Pest, and Mosquito Abatement. Their number is 208-577-4646. And Brian, this little plant may be a bit, I'm assuming, you might even think it looks like baby's breath or something that you want to yeah. have around your house, but definitely not safe to have around your house. Again, okay. poisonous for people and animals. Poisonous, like ingesting or just, like I said, you have to wear gloves. The, the, the worry is that then you touch your eyes and mouth and that kind right. of stuff? Right, the worry would be that you ingest the residue on your hands okay. and then that's the part that would be toxic to you. So it's not fully that every single person is having skin irritation, okay. just re removing the residue from your hands. All right, so be on the lookout because apparently we're seeing a lot of this out there. It's a lot. All right, thanks, Sophia.